Hi everyone, welcome to our show. The tour guide welcomes you. And we have our segment for Wednesdays, which is going to be our health and nutrition discussions, introducing our new heaven and earth herbals. So Wednesdays we'll be talking mostly about health, nutrition, mental well-being, and natural remedies, holistic health, all of that stuff. So the title for today's segment is, it's about time, T. H-Y-M-E, the herb. I know it's kind of corny and played out, but realistically though, um, I have a Facebook group and it's been up and about for the last two years and there's only two members, me and my other page. So if you want to join, feel free. You're welcome to be a part of that group. I'm going to be adding a lot more content and expanding. And like I said, Wednesdays, I want to talk specifically again about health and nutrition and really helping people specifically with uh, mental health issues or areas of concern. I went through, of course, many people know some, some challenges and struggles in life, recovering, going through the mental health journey myself, discovering a lot. And I did a few, a couple of courses and currently taking another course at this moment. And I really got deeply immersed into the world of natural remedies, of herbalism and natural healing. I've always been very passionate and interested in working with fresh foods and herbs and using food as medicine and finding alternative ways to heal the body, allowing the body to heal itself. So I need to give all praise and glory and honor to God. First and foremost, he placed Adam and Eve in a garden and we were supposed to eat fruits and vegetables and produce and live off land. And that was the initial plan. So I just find it very interesting that as we do more research and studying and looking into ways to help heal the body, a lot of them stem back to, <laughs> stem back to literally just things that come out of the ground. And I don't want to disregard Western medicine at all. Like doctors, hospitals, paramedics, EMTs, all the first responders in the work in the medical setting, nurses, CNAs, all of them have very, very vital roles. And I've benefited and experienced very many of positive experiences in the medical field system. I would also like to see more of the holistic health coming in hand, coming in tandem with these um, other type of medical practices where we can benefit from both sides of it so this is what my goal and, ob and objective is. Over the last couple of years, I've really gone deeper into this journey and I feel very uh, comfortable now today sharing with you guys a lot more of what I've researched and discovered. And in the future, if anyone is interested in having a clarity consultation where we talk about specifically your health and well-being and nutrition, I'm very open to that conversation and possibility to discuss with you. So again, today it's titled, It's About Time. Cute little plan words, I know. Silly, corny, cheesy, but that's what we do here. So the quick, well, not quick. I've been studying time for a, I have to say it, for some time now. And it is, it is truly an amazing herb. So one of the things that I enjoy doing is getting the fresh thyme, putting a few sprigs into a bottle of water. I should have brought my bottle of water for people who are viewing this to show you, but literally put a sprig, some sprigs of thyme into a bottle of water, glass or stainless steel preferably, letting it sit. Personally, I let mine sit overnight. Sometimes I add like a lemon wedge to it and let that steep and have like a cold brew tea, a light tea of thyme and drink that and then after that's finished refill it and then you know use it about three or four times until it kind of runs out of its potency but it's such an amazing product natural product from god where it's it's just a, the neurological benefits of time it helps with brain the nerves in your brain memory relaxation mental clarity Time water is really, really beneficial. It's very, of course, obviously very beneficial to stay hydrated and to drink a lot of fluids. But if you can infuse herbs into it on a regular basis, your body will greatly benefit. So if you're a person who doesn't like drinking plain water or you just like, you really like your sugary drinks and your sweet teas, especially coming into summer, I know um, Arnold Palmer's 
all of that stuff. It's fun. I'm a, don't get me wrong. You know, I enjoy these beverages as well. I've learned, though, how to get some of the benefits of the herbs into your diet, into your daily consumption, is to literally just put it in bottles of water. So if you prep several, like maybe four or five bottles of water with um, distilled or high pH water or some type of filtered water, and then you put sprigs of different herbs in it, you can do rosemary, you can do thyme, slices of lemon, cucumber, even berries. Another great hack and a way to add nutrition into your um, beverages is if you get frozen berries or if you take cubes of watermelon and then you freeze the fruits and vegetables, if you want vegetables, you freeze the produce in advance and you use it as ice in your drinks. So as it's defrosting and melting in your drinks, the nutrients, the antioxidants, the minerals, the vitamins that are coming from the fresh produce or the formerly fresh produce that's frozen. But as it's defrosting, it's getting into your drinks and then when you consume it, you're getting the benefits of it. And it tastes, you know, it tastes nice. It's adding a nice little refresh, refreshing um, aspect to your beverage. Also fresh mint leaves. Again, I mentioned lemons, rosemary, cucumber, frozen berries, frozen watermelon. Just ways that you can infuse these natural, beautiful, beneficial fruits and vegetables and get them into your system, especially as we enter in the hot season. In my area in particular, I believe today is 104, was 104, and then tomorrow's supposed to be 107. So definitely stay hydrated, get your water prepped. So sorry, back to the benefits of time. So I did uh, watch a video as a refresher course before I did this live, and it's very, very beneficial, anti-inflammatory, Again, I mentioned it's great for neurological and brain memory, helps repair nerves, so beneficial, and beneficial anti-inflammatory, anti-fungal, anti-parasitic, uh, it's supposed to help with blood pressure, red regulation, so get you some thyme. They say that even the dried thyme has its benefits as well. You can boil some water, steep the thyme, the dried thyme into it, make like a tea, let it brew or steep for about five minutes or so. However, uh, however strong you want it to be. And I guess it's great for acne treatments as well. So check out some of the videos. Oh, I need to put the disclaimer. I should have put this in the beginning. My sincere apologies for not doing this. But I do need to emphasize that I am not a doctor. I am not a medical trained professional. Everything that I'm sharing with you guys is information. It's opinion. I'm not trying to treat or diagnose anyone. I'm just giving you information, food for thought, things for you to consider, different insights and perspective. Like I said, all usually in my videos and throughout my posts on Facebook is we're in the business of information. We are exchanging information. And as a community herbalist, one of the benefits that we have of living in the United States in this country is that we are protected under the First Amendment where we can exchange information. So you can, again, as always, do with it as you will, but I'm not trying to diagnose or treat or cure anything. We're here to support your health and bring out the benefits and the well-being of every person here. And again, um, I emphasize, I like to specialize, I shouldn't say specialize, wrong word. Um, I take a special interest in people who are dealing with mental illness, people who are struggling with mental well-being, depression, anxiety. So just to kind of like piggyback from yesterday, we discussed what could be causing or creating some of your anxiety. One of them we mentioned was wireless connections and EMF radiation. And there are supplements you can take naturally like spirulina and curcumin, melatonin to help combat EMF radiation. So if you're feeling anxiety, these are one of the things that, you know, I'm very, very passionate about is helping people to overcome some of these struggles that they're dealing with by giving you, again, information. So again, um, if you want to join our Facebook group, I put that um, little link on my Facebook wall and I'll put the link in my podcast if anyone wants to join. It's health and nutrition, herbalism discussions, healthy leaving, healthy eating, clean living, 
fresh produce, holistic health, all of that stuff. So I'll be updating and adding more information. So I appreciate you spending your valuable time with us at any point in time you're consuming this content. Thank you very much. And truly, as always, God's peace and God's blessings.